Hey what's going on guys welcome to the 6th video of the series on getting started with Reloadly I am Junaid Maksud and let's jump right into it To recap what we have done we start you off by looking at the basics knowing how to make calls to the platform searching for supported countries and the operators and then finally we made a successful call to the top up endpoint to actually process a top up for a number now to extend to that we will look at what commissions the platform has in store for us commissions are a way for platform to reward you for using its service this is somewhat a prize you get for reselling the top up to your own customer base reloadly comes with a neat way to check this reward yourself as well as to integrate it into your own system for automated calculations of your profit let's start by logging into our account and heading to the dashboard from here we will move to the pricing to check out the rates and the commissions that each operator has here you can filter the operator either by sku or by operator name or the country that the operator resides in let's check out what operators we have for united states so these are complete list of operators within the united states that are supported by the reloadly platform here we have a few interesting things that you should be aware of the base currency is the currency of this account the international discount is the percentage discount for every top up that you make to this operator coming from a different currency. So basically if your account is created from a different country than United States and you are doing a top up for this operator, you will be eligible for the international discount. The local discount is the discount you receive for having your account in the same country as the operator. So some operators have international discounts, some operators have local discount and some have both. The FX rate is the rate the platform is giving to you for converting your base currency into the currency that is supported by this operator. So we have already discussed denomination and the values. So every operator either supports fixed amounts. So we have these fixed values already converted into your base currency. So you, these are the only values that you can use for top upping this operator. However, there are many operators that support a range denomination. So which means that anything between these two ranges is supported by this operator so let's quickly jump into the documentation see what the api has in store for us so we can check out all the commissions for all operators by simply making a get request to this endpoint the result is already paginated we can also get so commissions for any operator based on the operator id so let's head back to our development environment so what we want to do in this video is add a new discounts page where we will show all the discounts that we have for the platform. We are also going to extend the operators page and add the discounts for that operator. Let's jump into the code and simply create a copy our operators page. We will call it discounts. Let's change the endpoint from operators to operator slash commissions and make the appropriate changes now let's check out what we're getting in the response for each discount so we're getting the operator and the percentage so what i want to do is show the name of the operator and then the percentage discount so let's just do that let's add our discounts page to the layout header discounts discount let's try that let's fix the styling a bit and change the name of the page okay so we have a list of all the operators with their discounts and we can even go to the next page so the next thing I want to do in this video is append the operators page now if we go into any operator we have all detail of this operator now what i want to do is create a discount section below this page and have the discount show up there for this operator so let's just do that let's make another call change the endpoint
Now when we make this call, we get the percentage, the international discount percentage, as well as the local percentage for this operator. Now let's add these to our existing table. Let's try this. Let's add percentages to that. There we have it. So we have the discount percentage, we have the international discount percentage, as well as the local discount percentage showing in our operators page. So today we looked at another endpoint provided by the Reloadly platform. This is quite helpful if you're calculating stats to figure out your own discounts to provide to your own customers. Join us in the next video where we continue the journey and learn about promotions and how you can use them to offer even better packages to your own customers. Do give this video a like, it helps a lot and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned, I'll see you in the next one.